Millions of Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease, and while there's no cure, the FDA recently approved a first-of-its-kind treatment that could change the underlying course of Alzheimer's. I spoke with two Central Coast residents who share their experiences with the disease and their hope for this treatment. You know, I started this journey 15 years ago with my dad, and at that time, the conversation was simple. There's nothing we can do. Rosalind Rivera from Santa Maria has witnessed the effects of Alzheimer's disease firsthand when her father was diagnosed at just 55 years old. 6.7 million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's disease, and right now there is no cure. But hope for some came last month when the FDA greenlit the first traditionally approved drug to slow the progression of the disease. The fact that now we have an available treatment that if you start with it, in your early stages, you can actually buy yourself more time. In the study, it delayed it by 5.3 months, um, which might not seem like a huge difference in our lives typically, but it's a huge difference for a person with dementia. Rivera says this would have been priceless to have years ago. She admits at first her father was in denial, which delayed them getting treatment. We dismiss very quickly symptoms of mild cognitive impairment, especially in Latino communities. The type of conversation about mental health tends to be very uncomfortable. Now 70, her father is in the very late stages of the disease under hospice care. Rivera now reflects on what this new treatment could have meant for her family. It gets me angry. It makes me sad. Dad. I knew he was still full of planet and I could have shared so many other things. Five months seemed probably in overall time a little amount, but it's huge when you know that your memories are fading away every single day. Chris Broom from San Luis Obispo lost his wife, Alice, to Alzheimer's this past March and remembers when her first symptoms appeared 10 years ago. We had been on a, a fairly long vacation and I'd noticed that she was just not paying as much attention to detail. For example, she just couldn't pack her suitcase very well, which was very important at that time because we were taking a number of flights and we were very restricted in what we could carry. Once diagnosed, Broom and his wife were both practical in their approach. I was very fortunate in that Alice was not in denial, which unfortunately many people are. And that helped tremendously in figuring out our path forward. Both Broom and Rivera agree early diagnosis is key, and they hope this new drug will serve as a launch pad to better treatments and possibly a cure. It's an effective break. What we really need is a medication or a treatment that can actually halt the progress. And then, ideally, we need something that can reverse it. But it's it's a great beginning because now with this approval, many others can continue leveraging on that research. I spoke with Laura Deloy with the Alzheimer's Association on the Central Coast. She says they want to get the word out to families in hopes of encouraging them to speak with their doctors to see if this new treatment is right for them and also to be aware of any side effects that may occur. I want to show you a quick snapshot of how many people have the disease locally. Here in California, there are nearly 6 million people aged 65 years or older. About 720,000 in that age group have been diagnosed with the disease representing 12 percent. In Slow County, 6,400 people have Alzheimer's. That's nearly 11 percent of that population. And in Santa Barbara County, 8,800 people 65 and older have the disease or just over 12 percent of that age group. And tomorrow is the 10th year of the Forget Me Not Art Against Alzheimer's uh, event. It was created by local resident Brandon Tokunaga in honor of his father who passed away from the disease. The fundraiser raises money for the Alzheimer's Association. There will be food and wine, entertainment, a silent auction, and of course the art. It will be held at the Village at the Oaks at 61 Broad Street in San Luis Obispo tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. And, it, you know, like Rosalind Rivera said, this it, it doesn't do a drastic amount of change with people with Alzheimer's, but it is a launch pad that just keep building on it. And hopefully with so many people who have it, hopefully there is a cure on the horizon here. Yeah.